In this video, we will extend our sprint system with a stamina system, so I recommend watching that video first. Let's have a quick recap. So we, all we did last video was make an input action. When you press shift, it will call our function start sprint, and when you release the shift button, it will call our function stop sprint. The start and stop sprint function just look like this. All we do is changing the maximum walk speed of our player, but we'll extend on those functions later on. So if you want to learn more in depth about the video, I recommend you pause this video and go and check out my video on sprinting. We start by adding two new variables, our current stamina and our max stamina. For the max stamina, you can just choose whichever value you like. For our current stamina, we will go to the begin play and set our current stamina equal to the, our max value. We do this to ensure that our current stamina is always the same value as our max stamina at the start of our game no matter what value you set as your max stamina. Now we will create a new function called grand sprint, which has a boolean as output. We will call this function right before the start sprint and use it as a way to check if we still have stamina left. If this returns true, we can start the sprint. If it returns false, we should ignore our player input. Inside the function, we just check our current stamina and see if it's higher than zero. You might wonder why we made a function for this. And the answer is mainly readability and expandability. If for example we had a gun, we wouldn't want to allow the player to sprint if they are aiming down the side. We can just add another check in this function. If we wouldn't have it as a function, it would be a little bit more messy and more work to add that functionality. Now we have our working sprints and if there is no stamina, it prevents the player from sprinting. But there is no stamina decay yet, it never decreases. In order to do that, we need to add two new floats. A decay amount, which is the amount of stamina you lose, and a decay interval, which is often how much time you will lose stamina. In our example, we will put the amount to 10, and the decay interval to 1 second, which means that every second we will lose 10 stamina, and thus we will be able to sprint for up to 10 seconds. Let's start with making our decay stamina event. In this event, we will first need to check if we're sprinting. So we'll add a boolean called should sprint. And we set it to true in the start sprint and to false in the stop sprinting. The reason why we didn't call this boolean is sprinting is because the player can still hold down shift while standing still. So if we only check that we're sprinting in the decay stamina, we will lose all of our stamina when just standing still with shift pressed like this. To fix this, we will make a function called is sprinting. In there, we will get the velocity vector of our player, and if its length is higher than zero, it means that we're moving. Because if the player isn't moving, the velocity vector will be 0x, 0y, and 0z. If they move in any direction, the velocity vector will take any value. For example, if they move along the x-axis, will be more than 0x, 0y, and 0z. So if the length or the magnitude of the vector is more than 0, it means that the player is moving. In case this part is a bit confusing to you, it's totally fine. I suggest you read up on vector mods uh, and there they will explain it a bit more in depth. So to finish our is sprinting function, we will just add an end game. So if we should sprint, which means that our shift key is pressed and the player velocity is higher than zero, we are sprinting. When we go back to our decreased stamina event, we add a branch to check if we are sprinting. If we are sprinting, we decrement our current stamina with our decay amount and if that becomes less than zero, which means we are out of stamina, we will stop our spin and put the current stamina to zero. If it is above zero, which means we still have stamina left, we will just set a new stamina value to our current stamina. Now to call our decreased stamina every second, we will make use of a set timer by function name. We will call this function our start spin. As a function name, we will use decreased stamina. The time is our decay interval and we will put looping on true. If you play the game now, you will notice a bug that after starting and stopping the sprint a couple of times, the stamina decreases faster. This is because we haven't reset our timer yet and it is looping our function multiple times. To do this, we can save the return value of the function as a variable. This is our timer handle. And in our stop sprint, we can call a clear an invalidate timer by handle node, which stops the timer and makes sure that it doesn't keep looping. If you want to learn more about timers in depth and wonder why we use them, I suggest you watch this video I did a couple of weeks ago that goes more in depth about the topic. Now all that is left to do is to add a generate stamina function. This is quite straightforward. We will add another float called region stamina mode. Every time the regen stamina function is called, we will add our current stamina with the regen amount and clamp it by zero and our max stamina. This is to make sure that the value never exceeds our max stamina. Don't forget to set the clamp value as our current stamina. To call this function, we will also use the set timer by function name, but this time in the stop sprint. As function name, we will choose regenerate stamina, which is the name of our function. Time is our regen interval, which is another float and looping on true. We will also save the return value as a variable and clearly 
the timer in our start sprint. Otherwise, we would still be regenerating stamina when we are sprinting, which is not what we want. I put the regeneration interval on 0.5 seconds and the regen amount to 10, but you can choose any value that you like. Now you should have a working spin with stamina. If your stamina depletes, you will stop sprinting. If you're not sprinting, you will regenerate your stamina back. If you're wondering how to get a stamina bar like this one, I suggest you watch my how to make a hell bar video. While this video is about a hell bar, it should exactly be the same for the stamina, just with different variables. 